Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Demon Souls. Uh, I'm Daniel Snowden, your host, and in this episode, uh, or since the last episode, um, or at last time we defeated the old monk and um, did all the White World Tendency events for Tower of Latria, so that completes Stonefang Tunnel, Tower of Latria, Shrine of Storms, and Valley Defiance. All that leaves is Boltarian Palace. Um, I have also died a few times in body form um, here to make it pure Black World Tendency, um, so that we could unlock this gate. This gate leads to an area that's only accessed during pure black or pure white world tendency. Um, well, let's go ahead and kill that crystal lizard. Alright, great. Um, now, when we make our way into here, you're going to be ambushed by a bunch of red phantoms. Uh, they shouldn't be too bad. Um, it can happen in either pure black or pure white world tendency, so just be careful. Um, but they're pretty weak draglings. Yeah, they go down easy enough. But they will drop um, Crescent Moongrass, so that's nice. We can stock up on that again. Uh, not that we really need it. And then all these items should be unknown hero or unknown soldier souls. And if we continue up this way, um, yeah, through this bullet here palace, um, then you're going to get ambushed by five guys up here. So let's bring them all out. Now be careful, they're not that strong, but they can mess you up if you let them surround you, so just don't, be careful. Um, now I have second chance already cast and set, um, so I won't be able to use my warning spell, but coming up there's a very tough enemy, especially on um, pure black world tendency, so I'm actually going to bring out my kite shield for this one, because uh, I'm going to try to parry her and uh, kill her that way. Um, we got these up. Um, but yeah, she is tough. Um, she'll either be on the right side or the left side. I can never remember which one. Um, but uh, she'll come out and attack you. Um, so let's go ahead and get light weapon or enchant weapon equipped. And roll out. Roll back. There she Okay, so she's on the left side. So yeah, she's pretty dangerous. This is morale, though. And as you can see, she's got a ton of health. And she is very tough. So let's see if I can get another parry. Oh, yeah. Okay, so she does a lot of damage, so be careful. There we go. Parry. Two hand. And down she goes. All right. And she drops the guillotine axe. A pretty nice axe if you're a strength character. Uh, we're not, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's go ahead and put our adjudicator's uh, shield back on. Alright, now um, for this area, I highly, highly, highly recommend um, that you have the um, uh, the Ring of Herculean Strength to increase your item burden, because uh, there's some items down there that you could pick up. I'm not going to pick them up right now. I'm going to save it for when I come back to this area for pure white world tendency. Um, but at the very bottom, there's a set of armor. It's the heaviest armor in the game. Um, but it's pretty nice stuff. Um, if you like, it's called the Brushwood set. It's the stuff that Bior wears. Um, we're not going to be using it, but if you want to use it, you can. Um, but we do want to come down here and get... Ooh, that was close. And get this item over here. Colorless Demon Soul. Great. And then where we want, where do we want to drop off? Uh, let's go ahead and take out our bow because the bow will help you turn a little bit better. And then I believe we just want to fall right off this way. Oh, okay. Whew, that was close. Uh, turn around. Oh no! Oh, we died. Crap. Crap baskets. All right, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, we just need to get out of there. Um, we're in soul form, so it doesn't really matter. Um, plus, I'm not too worried about the souls that Miranda dropped. Not a big deal. Um, if I really wanted to, I could go back and get them, but I really don't care. Uh, we have more than enough souls at this point. We're pretty high leveled. I think we're level 75. Yeah, 75, so we're, I mean, we're good for the end of the game. The only thing I'm going to be raising at this point is endurance, vitality, and luck. Um, pretty much all the rest of my stats are going to stay the way they are. Um, 
until maybe New Game Plus. Um, but yeah, so whatever. I just really want to get that colorless demon soul, and like I said, we'll go back there for pure white world tendency. Um, if I don't die in the next, you know, parts of this area, then um, and my souls are still back over there, I'll I might go back and get them. But anyways, we're gonna want to skip the rest of this level, uh, or at least the first part of Voltaren Palace, to get to this part. these guys while we're here. Maybe they'll drop some stones for us. That would be nice. Um, the good thing is, uh, since we raised our luck stat, um, we're also going to have a higher item drop rate. Uh, not by much, but it's something. Yeah, go you. Oh, see? There we go. Glad I turned around. Ooh, three shards of starch stone. Awesome. Um, we might be using that for... Actually, I'm not sure if the fatal secret for the, the secret dagger upgrade the sharp stone, but eventually we're going to want to upgrade uh, the secret dagger for critical attacks. That'll be pretty nice when it's upgraded. Ooh, more sharp start stone. Awesome. So hopefully we can utilize that. Alright, and then the uh, the red dragon here, eventually I'm going to want to kill him. Um, probably not right now. I'm probably going to continue on to do the other black world tendency events. And then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him from that tower. Uh, the easiest way to do it is to just go into hyper mode, um, use your bow, and you'll just pluck one arrow at a time at him. Um, pretty simple stuff. But let's have him take out these guys while we're at it. Come on, dragon. Anytime, dragon. Anytime. This area. Pick that up and keep running. Oh no! Woo! Just made it. That was close. Alright, kill these losers up here. Yeah, the range of the blue blood sword is just ridiculous. Um, it's such a good weapon. And the fact that it does magical damage means that it'll go partly through a shield, which is nice. And not a lot of enemies have uh, magical resistance. Oh, actually, we'll go on the next one. I'm going to grab that grass the grass. I like stocking up on grasses. You never know. Alright. Head up this way to where the ambush is. Easy enough. Half on grass, great. And let's take out this last guy. Oh, wow, he does a ton of damage. Yeah, Black World Tendency is not to be trifled with. There we go. Hopefully there's a Crystal Lizard over here. Let's go take a look. Yes. Alright, I believe there's another one down this way. Hopefully there's no more Fat Minister over here. Uh, there might be though, so we should definitely be on guard. Uh, this is where we rescued Bior. Uh, let's see. Oh, is there a shiny in there? Oh, I never got this. Huh. Huh, okay, cool. Hero Soul. Anybody in here? No? No Fat Minister? Great. So let's go ahead and take down this guy. Uh, is the tower shield all the way down there? No. Okay. There we go. Never get enough hardstone. Eventually we're going to want to use that for the purple flame shield or the kite shield. One of them. We're going to max out one of them. Um, probably the purple flame shield. Um, oh, whoops. Didn't want to go this way. I want to go that way. Alright, now let's go ahead and head past where we defeated the Tower Knight. Now there are red phantom enemies um, throughout the level um, that I could have showed off 
Um, I could have done the entire Black World tendency, the whole world, um, but I'll save that from probably like a New Game Plus or something as maybe a challenge run. Um, I don't really need to show all that. I just want to show you the big tendency events that are important. Um, plus, this is probably the hardest world in Black in Black World tendency. Even the dogs do ridiculous amounts of damage. Um, so you really want to be on your guard for this area. Um, it is not to be trifled with um, at all. Um, and these guys can actually take out Ostrava, so we want to be really careful. We want to take them out right now. Uh, actually, no. First, we want to get this crystal lizard. There we go. Got some chunks. There we go. Take out these guys. There we go. Yeah, and the regeneration of the Adjudicator Shield should be more than enough. What's up, Ostrava? Got anything useful to say? My father the king awaits me just over there. Oh, really? Good to know. Alright. And then we want to head up this set of stairs. So we can get behind this ambush. You jerk. I freaking hate spear guys. There we go. Not easy enough. And right over there is our colorless demon. Alright. Okay. That's one. Dos. Tricks. Come on. Yeah, Godless Demon Soul, alright. Now, I was putting them towards the Phosphorescent Hole, but I totally forgot about the Dark Silver Shield. Uh, it's actually a really good shield. Now, if you go that way, you will be ambushed by two Fat Ministers, Red Phantoms, with uh, Crescent Axes. They will tear you to shreds. Uh, I don't recommend going that way at all. Um, it's just, it's not worth it at all. Um, it's not, it's, it, you're trapped, and it's hard to get out, and they can kill you very quickly, probably in one or two hits. So I recommend not going that way. Um, but now what we want to do, oh, Ostrava, are you okay? All right, Ostrava, get out of there. Get out of there, bro. Get out of there, let me do this. Oh, what are you doing? Uh, not trying to attack you, you idiot. Get out of my way. Let me help you, you moron. All right, let me take this guy out because you're an idiot. And you're going to get yourself freaking killed, and I don't want you to die yet. All right, there. You going to be all right, Ostrava? All right, so now let's go ahead and let's take out that dragon. Um, so we're going to want to unequip our Judicator Shield. Go ahead and equip the Makoto. And throw on our uh, Clever Rat's Ring. And that way, by the time we get back to where the... Uh, by the time we get back to where the, uh, the dragon is, where we're going to shoot him, we should be back down to our health. Oh, no, I don't want the adjudicator shield. Uh, let's just go ahead and unequip it. And then by killing the dragon, you actually increase... It, it moves more towards white when you defeat the dragon. So it should put us all the way into pure white world tendency. So we can knock out the pure white world tendency. Uh, it's just the one event with Meralda, uh, the real Meralda. Um, okay, can we make it? I guess we can try. Alright, go, 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 go,
and we hit Clever Rat. So now let's go ahead and switch back to our Blue Blood Sword. Get out the Morning Blade. And let's take out these guys up here. Oh, okay. I don't want to die. I mean, I do have second chance. Or do I have second chance? Maybe I don't. Alright. Kill that guy. Oh, another winged spear. Nice. Oh, that was close. Damn, 794 damage. That is a crap ton of damage. 805. 880. Jeez Louise. Alright, so now let's go ahead. This is where you want to stand, so let's go ahead and quickly take out this red dragon. How much damage did that do? Couldn't even see how much damage that did. 80 arrows should be more than enough, though. 260 damage, I think, is that attack with the bow. That's pretty darn good. So we should be able to kill this dragon pretty quickly. But yeah, he'll just keep, you know, blowing fire and just doing this pattern. You can also use, like, a soul ray. A few more hits with the arrow should do it. I think that's... I think we got him. So let's go ahead and switch to... Ring of Avarice. There we go. Like that. Now we don't get our body back for that, unfortunately. Um, but let's go ahead and throw on our Adjudicator's equipment. Go ahead and get back our rings. Alright, cool. Press and grass, great. And this should heal us. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up our souls since we survived all that nonsense. Uh, we'll go ahead and get our souls um, from and we'll probably pick up those items there as well. And then we'll just go ahead, because this will move us all the way to pure white since we both defeated the Black Phantom, defeated the um, color or the Primeval Demon, and we also defeated the um, Red Dragon. So that will all those will combine to move us all the way from pure black to pure white world tendency. We'll go ahead and we'll knock out the pure white world tendency event. Um, and then that way that should move us back to neutral which will be good. I think being neutral is good. I don't want to make it too easy for the next couple fights, um, but I don't want to make it too difficult either. So, all right. Just run past all these losers. Oh, good, and there's another crystal lizard. Great, 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 great. Definitely get some shards of hard stone and sharp stone. What's up, guys? Yeah, these guys are there every time. So every time you come to this area, they'll be here. And I'll always drop crescent moon grass, sometimes a slave shield, but that's not really important. Uh, oh, shoot, he is running. I totally forgot about you. There we go, more. Hardstone, great, can never get enough of that. And I still have like six stones of ephemeral eyes left over from getting into Black World Tendency. Alright, took these guys out. another broken sword, whatever. Alright, and let's go ahead and head down here. I really hope my souls aren't on a plank, but of course they are. Oh, Alright, so let's do this very carefully. Oof. Okay. Got my 
soles back. Oof, so precarious. All right. Now we should, if we just fall straight off. Booyah! All right, and fall down here. hey -o. okay. So now let's go ahead and put on that ring of Herculean strength. Actually, let's pick up everything. Great, so we got the brushwood shield and the full brushwood set. Uh, that's the stuff Bior uses, like I mentioned. So now we can go ahead and warp out of here. And let's see how much time we got. Uh, 20 minutes. All right, I got a little bit of time. So let's go ahead and just do the pure white world tendency event. Uh, it's just the one thing, so let's go ahead and knock it out right now. Um, because, yeah, we're in pure white world tendency. And then from there, we're going to lower our character tendency all the way down uh, to black. And I will show you how to Hi. do that. Let's go ahead and repair this stuff while we're at it. Should be able to level up one more time. Can I level up? All right, let's go ahead and level up Vitality. 25 should be pretty good. And let's drop off all this stuff to Thomas. Okay, and we'll put those colorless demon souls to use uh, eventually. I'll probably upgrade my dark silver shield. Um, that'll be pretty good. Don't need a mail breaker, don't need the guillotine axe, don't need another winged spear, don't need a slave shield, don't need the large brushwood shield either, although that is a pretty nice shield. It's got good fire defense. Um, yeah, it, it can be good, but we don't need it. I would like to get some more arrows though. Go ahead and drop off that poison resistance frame. Yeah, let's go ahead and get some more arrows. Sixty should be good. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and we'll put our thief ring back on. All right, so let's go ahead and back to Polantarian Palace. Oh, actually, I want to be in human form because she has some additional dialogue. Um, if you're in human, ah, it doesn't really matter. If you really want to see it, you can watch someone else's playthrough. Because um, the loading times just take too long, and I really don't feel like editing them out. Um, but she'll say something about how you betrayed the king, or she's got an interesting uh, voice, actor, actress. So, but whatever. Don't really care for any of that. Um, but what we do want to do is make sure we kill this crystal lizard. Go. And of course, even in pure white, these guys will still show up, so keep that in mind. Wow, even hit behind me. That was pretty cool. Yeah, and these guys will do almost no damage to us now that we're in pure white world tendency. Um, also, our drops aren't as good, but that's okay. Let's see. Pure white world tendency, not that strong. Pure black world tendency, they can mess you up for sure. And we've got a lot of crescent moon grass. All right, and then since her red phantom was on the left side, I believe her human form will be on the right side. Yep. And like I said, if you're in body form, she'll actually say she'll have some dialogue. Um, she doesn't now. So let's go ahead and get our kite shield out. What are you doing? Maraldo? Right here. really want to get a fairy on it. Come on. Oh my god, if I die to Meralda, I'm going to be pissed. Alright, that was way too close. Oh my god, this is getting annoying. Okay, get out of the way, Meralda. Alright, there we go. Come over here. Dead. 
There we go. And she'll have some other dialogue if you're in body form and you kill her. But yeah, she drops the Binded set and the Master's Ring. We already have the Master's Ring, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so that's another one for direct hits. That's for like axes and stuff. But she also dropped the, ro the Binded set, which is probably the best female equipment in the game. Um, let's see if we can wear both the Binded boots and... Oh, great, and we can still fast roll. Yeah, uh, it's got lots of defense, lots of resistance, so it's pretty cool. Uh, it's going to be pretty much our standard fare. Uh, since we kill her, killed her, we should move back towards neutral tendency, and then once we defeat the um, blue dragon and the next two bosses of this area, that will put us into pure white world tendency, which I definitely want to have again um, for a special enemy that we will be fighting uh, later. So I will probably see you guys in the next episode. Uh, thanks for watching, uh, where we're going to take on the boss of World 1-3, as well as um, move our character tendency to black. And I will tell you how I did that next time.